Over the course of this video, we're going to be looking into some organizations that employ high schoolers and give back to the community. We interviewed some of the leaders and members of these organizations and learned about the importance of their programs. We hope that by the end of this video, you'll learn the same things that we did. My name is Danny McLaughlin. I am the program director at the Center of Teen Empowerment Somerville. I started working with Teen Empowerment maybe last April. I moved here from Florida. By the end of Teen Empowerment, I realized that there's something important about Somerville itself. There's a sense of unity and connectivity that Somerville has to its youth. We hire and employ young people to organize around the issues that they face and that the community faces. So this is going to be our 12th annual peace conference on Saturday, May 12th. It's a day for the adults, elected officials, police officers to come, community members, listen to the young people and hear their concerns. Right now we have about 50 kids working for us for the youth organizers of the conference. And then we have a number of other programs. So these are great ways for kids to get involved, get paid for the work because we value what young people do. Really important to recognize young people um, getting their voice and putting it out there. So Groundwork Somerville is a local nonprofit. We focus on youth development, food and farms, environmental justice, and racial and health equity. On the green team, we learn civic engagement, environmental justice, and urban agriculture. This job made me realize how important the environment was and how much I actually had an interest in this field of work. Being on the green team made me more open-minded. It gives those kids that have never had a job before that starting chance to practice what it's like having a job before they go out and get a more serious job. Funding is vital to our programs functioning. Almost all of our green team members wouldn't be able to work with us if they weren't getting paid. And we really want to be able to do that so that green team members can find employment in the city and contribute to their community. Space Park is a space-themed pop-up playground. Space Park really came from the community. Obviously, it's for the community. It helps with STEM education to some degree. Kids learn about space as they're playing. I think it's really cool to not only deliver that information to such a young audience, but it's also through an interactive way. One of the really key things about Space Park is that we hire high school students. They're an invaluable asset. One of the most important things we would do if we had the money would pay more high school students, pay them more frequently. We're still working on that, and that's a lot of the reason why space parks have been a little bit slow. We want to be able to pick that up to do more space parks, bigger space parks, and to be able to pay more high school students. Essentially, the more funding we have means the more pop-ups we can have, which means the more events we can have, which means the more outreach for science education, which is something I believe is very vital in today's world. We need scientific thought more than ever, and I think starting that at a young age is the best way to do it, and in such a fun way, too. So. The Welcome Project, we're an immigrant organization in Somerville, and we really work to build the collective power of immigrants. We really work with immigrant youth and their families. We are part of a program named LIPS, and in LIPS we are interpreters for our community events. To really try and build a space where youth feel proud to be bilingual, to be immigrants, to be part of immigrant families. In the Welcome Project, I interpret in community events for uh, people who doesn't speak English. I'm involved into many events, some of them being with parents, some of them being in school. We give people the voice who don't speak English. That We help out people with illegal status, status, you could say. Next year I want to see more students that want to be involved and engaged in the LIPS program because that's like a big opportunity. I feel like we need more um, people to speak out on things that actually matter in the community. In the organizations that we visited, we saw teenagers like us working hard, engaging in the community, and having fun, which we believe every teenager should have the opportunity to do. Without programs like these, we wouldn't have been able to produce this video. It's important that we not only continue, but grow these programs that allow teens to be doing paid work that they are passionate about while making a difference in the community. 